Well, hello, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. Uh, this week's blog's on a couple of different um, subjects, sort of related. Uh, but before we begin, I want to give a shout out to the Green Berets of A Company and chapter of the Chapter 78 Special Forces that supports them. Um, congratulations on mission accomplished, returning from Afghanistan with no casualties and a whole string of accomplishments. Um, you guys are awesome. We were honored to be uh, given a plaque by you, uh, which is now proudly being displayed here at Artemis. And um, just to be associated with you guys is an absolutely humbling experience. And the blog this week was originally going to be exclusively about the quiet professionals of the Green Berets. Um, however, last week when I was talking about prejudicial information and why certain things shouldn't necessarily be allowed into evidence, um, we got an email from somebody who was profoundly upset at a misspelling that I had put in our blog. And it apparently was so traumatic to this individual that whatever benefits that could have come from the blog were evidently lost to him. Now, in addition to that, he also used disparaging terms to refer to law enforcement. So we can kind of deduce where his mindset is when it comes to politics, when it comes to uh, feelings towards law enforcement. Um, and I wanted to address that in this blog. We, as CCW holders, we as individuals that own firearms and train with firearms, um, we are victims of a stereotype that a lot of anti-gun people promulgate. And to a certain extent, there is a truth to what they do because all stereotypes have some sort of basis in reality, otherwise they wouldn't have any validity at all. Um, unfortunately, they paint everybody with a broad brush. They also create a caricature of who we are. And the worst part about it is it doesn't necessarily relate to the deeper philosophical motivations that many of us have that are in the Second Amendment community. Anyways, without really belaboring the point, I wanted to try to juxtapose the characterization of how this clearly anti-gun individual and anti-cop individual um, viewed us as compared to these quiet professional Green Berets, these consummate professionals, these unbelievable heroes, and the sheer professionalism that they display, not only on the battlefield, but even at a formal function like a Christmas party. Anyways, um, guys, as always, train constantly, train consistently, train with purpose, and stay safe. Until next week, thank you for having uh, coffee with me. I hope you enjoy the blog. As always, if you have any comments or questions or would just like to talk, my email is stephen at artemishq.com. I look forward to hearing from you, and until next week, thank you.